Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at compound statements in logic. A compound statement is formed when one or more mathematical statements is joined with the words and or with the word or. So here are some examples. The temperature is below freezing and the roads are icy. So the statements the temperature is below freezing is joined with the statement the roads are icy by the word and. Two is even and prime. Here we've sort of shortened two statements. Two is even is a statement and two is prime is a statement and they've been joined with the word and. Three is less than five and five is less than eight. All of these are joined with the word and. Compound statements that use and are called conjunctions. We denote conjunctions using P, this up arrow, Q. So you can remember that by thinking about and starts with A, and that symbol looks a little bit like a capital A. Now let's talk about our other type of compound statement. Josh is a cat owner or a dog owner. Here are two statements, Josh is a cat owner and Josh is a dog owner, are combined with the word or. Compound statements that use or are called disjunctions. We use the symbol P or Q shown here. So it's just the flip of our previous symbol. When we use the word or in English, we typically mean that something is one thing or the other, but not both. So for example, spot is a cat or a dog in English means spot is a cat or spot is a dog, but spot cannot be both a cat and a dog at the same time. However, in logic, disjunctions or statements with or are what we call inclusive. That means that P or Q in logic actually means P is true or Q is true or both are true. So our statement, Josh is a cat owner or a dog owner actually means Josh owns a cat, Josh owns a dog, or Josh owns both a cat and a dog. So disjunctions in logic are inclusive. All right, guys, that does it for this video on compound statements in logic. To see more of this, keep on watching and we'll see you in the next video.